Hello everyone, Shaw's Puzzles here and welcome to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, I've managed to pick up some puzzles without spending a fortune because it is the cost of living crisis going on at the moment. And as I say, puzzling doesn't have to be an expensive hobby. So without further ado, let me show you what I've got. And we start off with some smaller puzzles and all of these were 20 pence from the thrift store. So we have rainbow mini jigsaws and these were by Sir John Tenniel, who's the artist, and he did illustrated Alice in Wonderland books. And he was knighted in 1893. And so we've got some beautiful, beautiful artwork there. And so those, those, and these were 20 pence each. And then we've got God, in his, his, God is in his heaven, 50 piece mini jigsaws. And there we go. So we've got children with a duck pond and children playing with woodland animals. I think they're so cute, so cute. Children's puzzles, but even so, I love them. Next, we have arrow puzzles, and we've got um, a 200 piece, and we have a 100 piece, and we have another 100 piece. And if I show you the size of the boxes, they're Diddy, and then we have vintage, as I say, arrow puzzles. So not long to do and um as i say still all 20 pence each and then we have waddington's puzzle and this has been done on qualitex board so we've got a butterfly papillons and a gay vintage and there we go we've got the bag let me show you a couple of the pieces and they've got numbers on the back so whoever's done them first has numbered all the puzzles individually. And there we are, piece 100, which is a corner piece. Now I take it, if I put them all upside down and put them on, you just put them in like chronological order. So it's like an aid help you, because I imagine it's quite dark colors, so it might be just a thing to help you. I don't know if you've ever seen that done before, or you've ever numbered the back of a puzzle. I've certainly signed a puzzle, but never numbered them, so there we go. Next, we have a Wentworth puzzle, 40 pieces. And I picked this up for like, I think it's like 50 pence, something like that. And I still, oh, there we go. So if you can see that on the back, all the little usual blurb. Um, as I say, it's nice to find a puzzle from a charity shop, especially it's Wentworth, because they're quite sought after, I think and a good quality and as you know I collect Wentworth puzzles so um, oh, I'm having a struggle here because they've taped this Ooh. I was trying to open it up I thought I'd opened this up earlier but obviously I hadn't but there we go anyhow so that's that puzzle and this is um, Oldbourne Blacksmith Shop which is in Wiltshire, as is Wentworth Puzzles. So there we go. Right, next few. Uh, Awkward Moments by Gibsons. Now, this was from a charity shop, I think it was about £1.50, something like that. And um, it's a little bit cheeky, a little bit racy. So it totally appealed to me. So <laughs> there we go. We've got two puzzles in there. And I think they're both 500 pieces. And I say Gibson's is a really good brand, really good brand. You can't go wrong with them. So let me put that down on the floor gently. And next we have Beer Me by the Puzzle Club, which has been rebranded to Happy Place Puzzles. And again, a really good quality puzzle brand. Definitely worth looking out for this puzzle. And I did a vintage postcard puzzle, and I recently did saucy postcards, um, saucy bottles. I've got postcards on the brain, um, which are really fun designs. A change from the usual kind of portrait landscape and artwork. So it's just like lovely, really, really nice and really enjoyable and fun design. And when I've had this, I will probably open a can. So um, here we go. Then we've got pomegranate puzzles. Now, pomegranate are, again, one of my favorite brands. And I did actually buy this. I did splurge from a, a little shop in um, Dawlish, I believe, which is a puzzle shop and sweet shop. And I was just in, enamored with it. It was 
um, A Bear, Robert Bissell, The Whole World. And I just thought it was so cute. And I just love the whole image, the dragonflies, these laying back looking up. And I think it's so beautiful. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> I love this. I love this. It makes me think of Paddington a little bit. And I don't know where you can you could have it that way, or I suppose you could have it that way. But I think it's meant to be like a landscape, really. So um, let's put that down. Next, we've got Jumbo, a thousand puzzle piece. Um, Noah's Ark, Tom Dubois, is that? Or Bois? And it's called The Promise. Um, so all the animals going on the ark, and they've got a rainbow. And just, I love the colours on this. Um, yes, it has a lot of sky, but I think I'm going to really enjoy doing this. And um, yeah. And I, Jumbo Puzzles are really, really good brand. As I say, thousand pieces. And so this was from 2004. So um, I actually got this nice that they put the, um, the date on it, actually. So that's that one. Um, whoops. Ravensburger next. The Country Park. I love this. And this is Best of British. I've already got um, the charity shop puzzle and so this is the country park and I just love the, the caricatures and the humour in this and um, I don't know if you can pick this up on the lens but um, welcome to frankly, frankly awful country park <laughs> and there's so much going on, you sort of like, yeah, ramblers and got the countryside and you can see the like the little speech bubbles so I like a bit of fun so um makes a change so I'm gonna enjoy doing that one so put that on my pile next we have a Wentworth puzzle again and again put this over at my charity shop this is called the briefing room so this is again vintage um I'm trying to work out how many pieces it has inside it doesn't say We shall find out in due course. So when I do the debriefing. <laughs> so I'm really, really pleased with this. And I know it'll have the whimsy shapes in. And I really will enjoy this. Oh, red on the back. Underneath all the blurb. 250 pieces. So there we go. And it's from an original painting by Frank O. Frank o. Salisbury. So um, there we go. Military manoeuvres being discussed so um there we go let's put that down next I'm really excited by these two actually um victory puzzles <laughs> vintage and we've got buckingham palace we've got the houses of parliament and um hand cut wood jigsaw puzzle um the london town series from 1976 and a little bit of um, news victory puzzles have restarted making the puzzles so I'm looking forward to actually puzzling some of their new puzzles that they've got out. But in the meantime, I shall add these to my collection of the vintage victory puzzles I own. And as I say, it just looks... I just love looking at the people, actually, on these. And I just wonder if they know they were immortalised on a puzzle. And I think that is so great. And look at the fashions. So, um, yeah. I don't know if I would like to be on a puzzle. Hmm. Probably, yeah, actually. It'd be quite fun. Yeah. They're very much like postcards, aren't they, from, like, yesteryear. Yeah. So, um, should look forward to doing those. Next, we have um, Whitby. 636 pieces. Unusual. Um, from Gibson's. And I don't know if it's more of, like, a kind of a, uh, like, a, a panoramic view but I love Whitby I, I, it's a beautiful seaside resort I, I you know so much history and I love the Dracula connection and I just love everything about it and I just yeah it takes me back there actually so um, again Gibson's again really good quality brand um, what else have we got next bits and pieces puzzle 300 pieces I love bits and pieces so fun and irregular shapes 
and I love round puzzles and this is 300 pieces yes and I've got a few of these but not a round one so um, I shall keep this and I love butterflies and I don't know if it's actually like a, I suppose like a plate I don't know if you can see that so um, yeah and I think this was like one pound if you can see the yeah so as I say it's not breaking the bank and that makes a difference these days doesn't it so um uh, what else oh talking about things um hasbro mm, big ben again but the company big ben and this was one pound fifty but this was actually gifted to me from a friend and just right for this season of autumn and halloween and um i haven't done one of these before so i'll be interested to see and you've got the blurb about the artist on the back and quite a small box mb puzzles and it's yeah quite wide but small so it's different to see how they all different shape and sizes right next we have i was very pleased with this one actually i did buy this from a charity shop and i bought it for a fiver i believe um so without further ado let me show you 1500 pieces jumbo and this is called Forest Blessing and it's foil and it's brand new, still got the seal on. So I don't know how common this is, but I haven't seen a foil puzzle from Jumbo before and certainly not one this size. And I just love it. I just thought, yeah, look at that. All the little animals, woodland and forest animals. We've got the deer. Um, we can't, it's kind of almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? fantasy like isn't it you know you've got the bear and you've got the wolves butterflies you've got the owl oh yeah so i'll be interested to see the finish on this and to say brand new for a fiver i thought that's very good quality and very good find right so now i've got my biggest puzzle i ever owned now and i'm not sure when i'm going to get around to doing this or where I'm going to do it. But I managed to pick up a 3,000 piece puzzle for a pound. I know. Jumbo, again, premium quality. And again, it's another Noah's Ark puzzle. Um, so I'm in with the Ark. <laughs> and all, all the animals. It looks pretty faded. So I don't know if it's been in the shop window or somebody's window for a length of time. And I took a gamble. But hopefully all the pieces are there. Um, as I say, the bigger the size puzzle, the more of a risk it is but you've got the lines with zebras and got monkeys you've got the giraffe and i just look at that three thousand pieces so um that will be a video all one day it'll take a long time to do this i think so i've got to really kind of um psych myself up for it but isn't it beautiful beautiful puzzle and it's heavy. <laughs> Not used to these big size puzzles, but I've decided to branch out a little bit more from the very small to large size. So um, enjoy the journey with me on this. Falcon next, and we've got cats. This was gifted to me from a friend. And um, yes, cats, but it's the fur. I'm not looking forward to this. I find fur quite difficult to work with as with flowers because the perspective and the orientation can be either way um you know i like it when there's text and it's definitely uh, up and a down but this could be any way when you open the box and see all those pieces so we've got floral cats by debbie cook but again falcon again is very very good brand and um over 40 years of falcon and i don't know what year this was from actually so might be a bit more than that now. 2019. Okay, so not too far out. So there we go. And finally, oh, got a puzzle brand I haven't actually tried yet. And I have seen it about on um, YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and whatnot. And this is Anatolian. 
and this is called the puzzle of the world um stairs to the sea by sun kim hmm. there we go so yeah i feel like i want to be on holiday and walking down to the um the sea there and getting on that boat and going off on a little cruise maybe so i haven't done one of these puzzles before from Anatolian so I'll be interested to see what the puzzle shape is like and um, I will rate it after so that is it that's my puzzles so I hope you liked looking through them as I say it's just a very kind of interesting to see all the different kind of puzzle sizes and vintages and um, anyhow so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like my content